Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. If you're new, I hope you stick around and I hope you enjoy this video. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in today and I hope you enjoy my October favorites. I have a lot of beauty favorites to share with you today. I actually had a food favorite, but I ate it for breakfast, so I didn't really have anything to show you. It were, there were these little wafers with chocolate and coconut on them, and it's not a breakfast food, so hopefully my husband's not watching because he'd be like, where did all those little wafers go? I thought we were gonna have this for dessert, so. <laughs> Anyways, that was kind of a favorite. Maybe I'll buy them at the end of November and then show them to you guys then. I don't know, we'll see. But um, Clinique Cheek Pop in Ginger Pop, I really have been enjoying this blush. Clinique's one of those brands that has been kind of hit or miss with me. I feel like some of their products I really, really like, like these Cheek Pops, they're really beautiful. I also have Berry Pop, which was a gift um, in a trade from my friend Stephanie from Flourish XO. Uh, but the, the one that I want to talk about is from Karina Kaboom. She, this was on a wish list of mine, and she got it to, for me in a swap, and I really, really like this a lot. Um, I'll put both those channels down below so you can go and check out their videos. But this is so beautiful for fall. I do have it on today. That's a swatch there. It has a nice sheen to it. I feel like these last quite a while on my cheeks and I have combination skin, so some blushes just disappear on my cheeks. These are not the ones that disappear. I feel like they last a while. They feel really nice on the skin. I feel like they glide on. They're very smooth. It doesn't look cakey or powdery. And I do have it paired with the Tarte Doll Face Blush, so this isn't just the uh, Ginger Pop on my cheeks because I'm trying to pan the doll face blush, so um, I want to kind of use it with other things, but I didn't, I didn't want to get sick of it because it is a very light pink color, and for fall, I feel like something like this is a lot better, so I'm really enjoying this color a lot. It's just, it's beautiful, and these are relatively affordable. I mean, they're less expensive than NARS, and I just think that they're stunning on the cheeks. Next, Pan That Palette. I've really been enjoying it this past month. It's actually what I have on my eyes. It's the Urban Decay Naked Basics Palette, and I did recently uh, show progress, and I'll put a link down below if you wanna check out my Pan That Palette series. I'll put the latest update so you can see where I am on all the shadows, but I've really been enjoying this. I feel like these. Did I just say these? <laughs> I'm really enjoying this, I feel like. I can wear so many different looks, so many to incorporate so many different colors with this. I, I'm really enjoying it. If you want to hear how I use all the different shadows, uh, definitely check out that latest update because I do kind of talk about how I've been using like Venus, I use it as a highlight and how I do that. So I'll put a link down below. I've been using this e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush quite a bit this month. I feel like for a dollar brush, which you can get at Walmart or Target, wherever uh, you can find e.l.f. products, it's pretty soft. It's natural bristled, but it's pretty soft for a one dollar brush. And I've been using it for a crease shadow, and then I'll kind of dust it off, clean it up, and then I'll use it to actually blend my eyeshadow at the end. So for a dollar, I would consider purchasing another one of these, um, and I think it's a really good brush for the price. I know I've talked quite a bit about this Benjabelle brush tree, but I really like it. And I bought it on Amazon. I think it's a really great product for drying your brushes. You just put them, you clean them, wash them, and then put them upside down. And then the water doesn't get into the ferrule here and loosen the glue. And it's just a great product. I don't really have anything else to say about it. And it comes apart so you can... Well, I do have, I guess I do have something else to say about it. It is compact so that when you're not using it, you can just stick it in a drawer somewhere, but really enjoy it. I think I spent $20 on it. I'm not sure exactly because this was several years ago that I purchased this, but I really, really enjoy it. And I just wanted to mention it to you because I feel like I haven't mentioned it in a while. And it is something that I use quite frequently and I really, really enjoy. I've really been appreciating this brush cleaning mitt. This was sent to me, oh gosh, over six months ago, I believe, uh, by, from Vanity Planet. And I don't think they even have this anymore. It was retailing for $40 on their website. That's, to me, that's way too much to buy this thing. Um, if you can get it for half off somewhere, I would definitely, if this, you know, got run over by a truck or something like that. I mean, it's really sturdy. I've had it for a while and I really enjoy cleaning my brushes on it. There's all different textures and everything. Um, I, I enjoy it a ton, but if I ever lost it or if it ever got destroyed, I would purchase something like this, but I would probably spend $20. I would not spend any more on it. I know Vanity Planet, when they first sent it to me, gave me a coupon code 
for like 40 or 50 percent off but it's you know expired and everything like that but and I don't even see these on their website yeah, I'm anymore. sure there's some kind of you know eBay alternative to this I'll have to go and look it up but there's all different textures uh, you just dip your brushes in soap I use the Dr. Bronner's baby soap but there's also the Benjabel soap you wash your brushes on this and it just kind of gets into the bristles but it's very soft it's not uh, ruining the bristles of your brushes but it's also getting them clean I just really enjoy it, so favorite. <laughs> this is the Desert Essence Organic Jojoba Oil, and my husband uses this all the time on his face, um, especially at night. And I decided I wanted to give it a try because I know I've spoken about in a couple of videos how my face has really been breaking out and I've been struggling with adult acne. And so I used this and then one drop of the Mountain Rose Herbs Tea Tree Oil and I've been using that at night and I used it three nights in a row and saw a significant improvement in my skin, just less breakouts and I feel like it is a little less drying than my proactive. I still really enjoy the proactive repairing uh, lotion and I know that has helped so much but this is, feels just a little bit more hydrating and a little bit more restorative I guess like restoring my skin's moisture. So tea tree oil and organic jojoba oil. My last favorite is a hair product. It's the Agave Healing Oil Oil Treatment, and I found out about this from Melissa Prada. I'll put her channel down below. In one of her videos, she had talked about finding this at TJ Maxx, so I rushed out, went to my TJ Maxx, and luckily I was able to locate this. I think I paid around like $5.99 or $6.99. I don't remember exactly, but it's a lot less than what you would pay like on their website. It smells so good. It leaves my hair looking shiny and healthy. I've really been concentrating it at the ends, but this does not weigh my hair down. I've tried a lot of different oils and for whatever reason it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't make it like greasy. <laughs> but I also just concentrate it on my ends so maybe that's the trick too. And this smells so so good. If I could find another bottle of this I would repurchase it if I ever ran out. And I've only used this like 10-15 times and this is where I am in the bottle. So it's going to take a ton of use to get through this and that's a really good thing because it's a great product. Those are my favorites. I would love to hear from you guys down below in the comments. So what have you been loving this past month? I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Paired it with the Tarte blush from Tall, Tall Face. Tall Face? This is a little blush brush. Nope, it's not a blush brush. I do <laughs> feel like it's a natural bl bris blistled. <laughs> it's natural blistled. I'm like shouting at the camera. I'm sorry you guys. I'm trying to finish this before I have to go and fit, uh, pick up my son. My shirt looks wonky. All right. And then I have this little... Hello. Hello. <laughs>